Hello and welcome to the Craftsman Show. My name is your host, the Craftsman. Today I'm going to show you the process of how I make a piece of wood that's brand new look like it's brand old, like it's been run through the ringer, like it's been seen better days. But this will make it look aged and worn out. It's not going to be as much of a step by step, but more of here goes some ideas what I what I do and you can borrow any of these ideas that you would like and use it in your own process. So what I got here is some old chisels that uh I got these they look they've been rusty, they're old, and I'm just gonna take and do some little uh carving. And what I like to do is follow all the sapwood and carve out, cut the sapwood, and I take and get in the grooves with it and dig the sapwood out and you leave the heartwood because in a real piece of wood like a piece of driftwood or something like that the sapwood are going to get worn down quicker than the heartwood which is more hard all right so this is where a little bit of the time comes in and you're just going to go through there and take some grooves i'm using a regular little skinny chisel but if you have a, a gouge a v-groove a gouge chisel you, that probably give you even better results. Anyway, I'm just gonna follow along and just keep cutting, cutting, and get all the sapwood and leave a raised area on the hardwood. And occasionally, you wanna jab it, poke it. I take me a big chisel, I jab the corner a little bit. In my case, I want this wood to look like it has been uh, beat up. Now I take a bolt and I hammer it and it leaves the thread marks in it. I take a little piece of metal, tap it leave me a little ring in it you can do as many indentions or as little as you would like and then we get the wire brush I take the wire brush and just just working on it with the wire brush and this is gonna mainly help remove and dig into a lot of the sapwood here I got a piece of 60 grit emery cloth or sandpaper I'm just gonna rub it rub it rub it, and do some little sanding smoothing just kind of think about how you wearing it down. I take a nail and I blunt the end of it. That's a quick tip for y'all. Anytime you hammer it into the end of a board, it's good if you don't want to split the wood that you go ahead and blunt the nail. That way there's a less chance of it splitting. And look, I hammer the nail all the way in and then I just prize off the board. And once I do that, then I just back out the nails. And if you wanted to, you could leave the nails in and let them get more rusty. And that rust will uh, penetrate into the wood and give a real authentic look in. I'm going to take and do some little bit more sanding and just work on it. Really, that's just so much you can do. I'm going to take a chisel and put me a nice wide uh, chisel mark across it. I might even do me a little another one right here. I'm going to tap it. All right, this is coming to the fun part. I'm going to take a little bit of a, a dark paint. All this is is acrylic paint and acrylic means it's a uh, water base so I put a little a little uh, just a little dab of it and then I take mostly water and I mix it pour it into the paint look at that and then I just take me an old butter knife and I mix it up and what this is is a, a diluted you got you a diluted uh, mixture here that you can use and this is going to be kind of like the black wash like I showed y'all in another video. This is going to be very similar to that. Now I'm just going to start applying this all over the board. And what you're going to find out is all the little grooves and the crevices. The crevices, all, all that is what's going to pick up the paint and the details are going to show up in it. This is probably my favorite part of doing this. And by the way, I showed y'all in another video that you can use steel wool and vinegar to do a different type of mixture. But this one's a lot quicker if you don't have time to wait on the vinegar and steel wool solution. So this is what it looks like so far. And you can just let that dry. And if you wanted to put another coat, maybe put a little bit of a different color. Like if you wanted to put more of a, a lighter whitish type color. But I'm going to use me a torch. So I get out my uh, map gas torch. Or you can use propane. Or whatever kind of torch that you may have. 
And in this case, I'm gonna start with it and then dry where I just painted it. So as you can see, uh, the the wet the water and the paint gonna be dry. But then I like to apply the heat and follow along the hardwood areas. And you can see how it darkened the wood. And you may not like this look, but to me, this is a look I really like. It gives a lot of contrast. And you can see what that'll do. And it's fun to use the torch though, but be careful with it. Uh, Y'all please don't burn uh, things that you're not supposed to be uh, burning. Now I take my 150 grit and I'm just going to sand over some more. And this the result. I hope that you can get some ideas from this. This is before what the wood looked like just as a reminder. And that's the very same board. And that's after we done wore it out and worked it. This is a lot of fun. It's therapeutic. That means that you enjoy it. And that it might help you to not be uh, stressed out about something. So give it a try. And let me know what do you think about it. I hope that you have enjoyed another video from the craftsman your friend and uh, if y'all got some ideas for new videos leave me a message in the comment please i hope that you all have a wonderful day thank you for watching my video your friend signing out the craftsman